San Diego, California, 1995. A man with a history of mental problems has stolen a tank from a military installation. Now this disturbed fugitive is on the loose with a 60-ton killing machine. Air Patrol Officer Todd Jager is the first on the scene. These people are completely at the mercy of whoever is in this tank right now. Officer Jager and his partner hover high above the horror as the metal monster begins its rampage. The lethal treads reduce cars to piles of twisted steel. Fearful for his life, a terrified driver quickly backs away from the oncoming tank. Now the entire street is covered with the ruins of smashed cars and down power lines. The crazed driver barrels through the crowded neighborhood, nearly sideswiping an innocent motorist. Then he charges through an intersection. Watching from her window, Lucille Santos sees the tank coming. When it seemed to veer from that side of the street to mine, just for the moment, I thought, oh my goodness, it's going to come on across. At the last moment, the madman spares Lucille's home. I was really frightened. Just a few feet on, it uh, took out the fire hydrant. Then, the heavily armored vehicle rips through a motorhome in a matter of seconds. Without slowing down, the deranged driver continues to wreak havoc using a van like a battering ram. The violent sounds of destruction bring the owner of this RV to the street. When I went outside, uh, I just seen my whole block demolished. And then when I went to go look at the mortar home, half of it was gone. And it was just devastating, actually. Fewer than 10 minutes into this reign of terror, the quiet city streets have been transformed into a war zone. Sandra Pinnell and her daughter Heather tremble with fear after their minivan is sideswiped by the enraged outlaw. I tried to get out. I didn't unbuckle my seatbelt. I ended up covering my face and scrunching up like a little ball and started screaming. San Diego police have now arrived in full force. But it's too late. The crazed driver is headed onto the freeway. Now the police are determined to end this nightmare. But the maniac makes one final desperate move. He veers into the center divider toward oncoming traffic. There's no time to waste. Abandoning the safety of their patrol cars, the officers jump onto the moving tank. They force the hatch open, not knowing if the madman is armed. police officer orders the driver to surrender. But the lunatic has no intention of giving up. The patrolman has no choice but to discharge his weapon. Finally, the insanity is over. I think the two officers jumping on top of the tank was by far the most heroic thing I have ever seen from the air. It was outstanding. Thanks to the bravery of the San Diego police and the California Highway Patrol, no citizens are harmed.